Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be another get ready with me. So we are in my room, it's a little bit messy. I just am getting ready to go now. I'm gonna go shopping for the first time in a long time here in Cebu. I don't know if that's a lie or if that's true. What I'm gonna do is shop for clothes for my Vegas trip. Vegas is where I'm gonna have my bachelorette party with my girls. My sister and my friend Nicole Anderson is the one planning it. And so Nicole just recently called me and told me that I have to bring an all white look. I have to bring an all silver look and I have to bring shoes that are comfortable. I do have a lot of white clothes, but Nicole told me I don't want any regular, I'm a simple Cebuana girl outfit. In short, she doesn't like any of the outfits that I have in my closet. She wants like a hot Kylie Jenner, Kendall Jenner kind of look, which I don't have. I'm gonna scout for one in the mall today and I'm just gonna get ready. And I thought maybe I should take this time to talk to you guys because I haven't done a video like this in a while and this is actually the first time that I'm getting to sit down and really like take it easy it is the 2nd of November it is a holiday today so Kim is in here and I've just taken a break I've, I've actually been working the whole day training batchy and also really working but I, I'm just so tired I don't know why I've been feeling super tired lately but I've just been feeling super tired I decided to stop working for a bit if you guys are wondering who batchy is Bachi is our new puppy. He's a baby Maltese. He's three months old and he is called Bachi Bear, but his real name is Batch, last name Ui. So his nickname is Bachui. It was really funny when we started to name him and think of all these other names like Itoi, Bob Ui, Bob Ui, Bad Ui, Bad Ui. You know, it was really funny when you were planning and thinking of names, but now that he's actually here and we've decided on Batch. Ui. And now that I'm calling him Batchy Bear every single day when I'm playing with him in the mornings, like it's super bagay. I'm so happy we picked that name. It is actually the first time that we have a small puppy here in our house. We already have two huge puppies. They're German Shepherds, but they're outdoor dogs. We don't really play with them. I mean, they're kind of big and scary. They aren't super friendly. They aren't mean either, but they're just not super friendly. And we didn't train them either. Surprisingly, I was super afraid of dogs growing up because a lot of the dogs we had weren't trained and they'd always be too aggressive and they'd bite me and I've always been really afraid of dogs. In fact, my sister, my eldest sister, Diane, has dog trauma. She, until now, will not go near any dogs and she's almost 40 years old, guys. So I was like that for a majority of my life. But ever since I started playing with my friend's two bulldogs, they've really shown me that dogs can be really cute. They can de-stress you. Batshi makes me feel so happy all the time. If you guys follow me on Instagram and you guys watch my Instagram stories, then you'll know that I'm obsessed with Batshi because I'm playing with him every single day and my stories are all about him. I don't know, the kind of joy that these puppies bring to you is just next level. I just feel so comforted and I feel so calm whenever he's around and I think Slater's even getting a little jealous because I don't even look for him anymore because I'm always playing with Batchy. Right now Batchy is upstairs with Jack while I'm getting ready. We've been learning so much. We're first time pup moms. A lot of you also have helped me through Instagram DMs on how to train Batch. Just after being with us for a week exactly today, he's already learned how to sit and how to stay. He's such a good smart dog. He is potty trained when it comes to peeing. He does have minor mishaps here and there, but mostly he can pee in his little newspaper. The reason why Jack and I didn't want to get pee pads is because obviously they are very good for the environment. Since you know, newspapers are biodegradable. We would rather just use newspapers and they're absorbent as well and they also cost less. Our only problem with Batch now is getting him to poo on the newspaper because for some reason, he doesn't want to poo where he's already peed in. He doesn't really sleep with me. He sleeps with Jack because Jack is afraid that because I travel a lot, he's gonna get anxiety because I'm always out of town whereas Jack is always here in Cebu so she can really take care of him and spend more time with him and so now Batchy's more attached to Jack than me but that's fine he's also going to be staying here in my household he's not going to move in with me and Slater once we get a new house the sky pod because the dog is actually really my mom also Slater is really allergic to dogs I actually asked him if we could get a dog together and like just get a hypoallergenic dog but he is 
really really allergic and he doesn't want to risk it so of course i have to adjust to my future husband Knox. i'm still keeping my fingers crossed that in the future he will develop a resistance to his allergies and we can get a bichon fleece which is really my dream dog if you guys are into dogs i highly recommend that you check out bichon underscore tori he is the cutest bichon in the world he's like a little cloud his head is super big and it's like super round and fluffy and for some reason he's just so adorable he's also one of the reasons i fell in love with dogs because sobrang cute niya talaga. I know that I've already had my kilay done by Pulin. Permanent Makeup Manila, if you guys are wondering. I have a video up on that already. But I still draw in my kilay from time to time because I like it to look a little bit thicker. I told Pulin not to make it super thick so that when I'm not wearing makeup, I don't look like I'm too strong or mataray. Honestly, Pulin is amazing because my mom, my sister, my best friend, and a lot of our friends went to her because they like my kilay. And my sister, in fact, went to her in the morning and then in the afternoon, she went to her brother-in-law's wedding and nobody noticed. Pulin's that good. It's amazing. Vegas. Vegas, I am very excited about. We are actually leaving for LA first on the 12th of November, if I'm not mistaken. We are gonna go to Vegas on that weekend, but honestly, I I have no idea what is in store for me because as I mentioned, it's Jack and Nicole who plan everything and we had a WhatsApp group and they kicked me out of it because they didn't want me to know what they had planned. I haven't prepared anything at all. Slater, on the other hand, is gonna have his bachelor's party in Bali with 15 to 20 guys and that should be really, really fun. He's going before me so we keep joking around that it depends how crazy his bachelor's party is. That's how crazy our bachelorette party will be but that's actually a joke because I have no idea what Nicole and my sister have plans, so I have no say. I don't know talaga. I'm just really excited because it's a lot of my friends from both Manila and Cebu getting together and like really spending time together and that's really what's the most exciting for me. Slater right now is in Taiwan with his family, so he's not here. Which is also probably why I have so much free time this weekend. I'm happy that Batchy is here while he's not around so that I can spend more time with Batch and I don't get too lonely without Slater. Batchy's really been super amazing at keeping me company. He is just the sweetest. Like, he's super lambing. I don't know if ganon talaga lahat ng mga puppies or lahat ng mga house dogs or small dogs, but Batch is so clingy and so lambing. Like, whenever I'm working in my office, he just goes to my feet and sleeps by my feet. Whenever I leave the room, he cries. We're trying not to spoil him, so even though he cries, we try to just ignore him. I am really entering a new stage in my life because I have always been chill. In my blogger barcada, I've always been the chillest, but now I feel like I'm on a different level of chill. Like, I'm just so calm. I'm okay with not doing anything now. Nah, before, I would get super stressed out and I would beat myself up for like having a free day. Now I'm actually, I'm okay. I'm happy where I am. And I'm not so, I don't know how to describe it there. I'm just happy. I'm content. Like for example, before I would never allow myself to just go to the mall to shop while I'm in Cebu because like I should be working. That's always what's on my head. Like I could be shooting content. I could be editing. I could be thinking of new things. I could be designing for February. But now I'm just like, whatever. I'm gonna do what I wanna do. I can stop making myself overwork. I need a break sometimes. I think everybody has a different personality. So I'm not saying na lahat ng tao kailangan mag break. If you're a workaholic like me, siguro. To help with anxiety, to help with like stress, it's good to take a break from time to time. Regarding my wedding planning, a lot of you have also been asking me how it's going. It's going smoothly, actually. I'm pretty chill. I don't know if it's because malayo pa yung wedding ko. That's why I'm so chill. I've made a few decisions I know who to get and I don't know what else to do to be honest so I'm just waiting for the time to pass later and I are getting a requirement we are both Catholic so we're gonna get married in a church we need to get separate requirements for the church and separate for the government so that is what we're gonna do but most of November both of us aren't gonna be seeing each other because he is currently in Taiwan and when he comes back he has a few days here to spend he's gonna be super busy working and then he's gonna go to Bali for his bachelor's party and when he comes back from Bali, then I'm gonna go to Vegas for my bachelorette party. 
and when I'm back from Vegas I have a few days here and then I'm gonna go to Dubai so it's gonna be a really busy November for the both of us hopefully when I get back in December I can be a little bit more hands-on when it comes to our wedding and planning everything Slater I'm sure is super stressed with the Skypod because he wants to finish it in a certain day and everyone is telling him you can't do it that's impossible to finish a house that fast that is why Slater's super hands-on and that's that's why he's super stressed with it <sighs> yeah I guess that's it I'm almost done here lipstick na lang all right i am done with my makeup look for today thank you so much for getting ready with me it was fun chatting with you guys and updating you on what has been happening in my life i am just gonna fix my hair now put on some accessories and i will be ready to go i will see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching bye Mwah.